every day you are exposed to millions of virus and bacteria. But every time you are not getting sick, right? You know why? Because of the immune system of your body. It is the defense mechanism of your body which resists an infection. I am Sushmita Hathi. Welcome to my channel Elephant Child. In this video, I will explain innate and acquired immunity and the components of the immune system and how can you maintain this. Our immune system consists of innate and acquired immunity. We are born with innate immunity. It is controlled by our genes. But we develop acquired immunity throughout our lifetime. Acquired immunity can be of two types. Active immunity and passive immunity. Both can come from natural and artificial sources. When our immune system develops own antibodies, we gain active immunity. It can come from exposure to an infection or getting a vaccine. When we come in contact with a pathogen, our immune system generates antibodies to resist this infection. It is natural active immunity. During vaccination, an inactive virus or its some part is induced to our body. Our immune system automatically generates antibodies against the vaccine. It is artificial active immunity. When our immune system gets ready-made antibodies, we gain passive immunity. It can come from another person's antibodies. We get some antibodies from our mother. It is natural passive immunity. But when artificially produced antibodies are injected into a person, he or she gains passive immunity. Monoclonal antibodies are injected to a person to treat rheumatoid arthritis. It is artificial passive immunity. Our immune system is composed of antigen, antibody, white blood cells, thymus, bone marrow, complement system and lymphatic system. Antigen is any pathogen that means virus or bacteria or fungi that can cause an infection. Antibody is a special protein which is produced by B lymphocytes to kill or weaken the antigen. White blood cells such as basophils, B and T lymphocytes, macrophages and natural killer cells. When we are exposed to an antigen, they launch an immune attack. Thymus produces progenitor cells which mature into T lymphocytes. Bone marrow contains high levels of multiple immune cells. The complement system is made up of proteins whose actions complement the work done by antibodies. The lymphatic system coordinates the trafficking of antigen and immune cells. A strong immune system constantly recognizes and destroys any uninvited guest. Your immune system is strong if you have normal levels of antibodies, white blood cells and immune system cells. system is controlled by various factors. To keep your immune system healthy, you need to stay hydrated, get enough sleep, engage in moderate exercise, choose nutrient-rich foods, and manage your stress level. Believe me, a good sleep can cause miracle to your body and mind. That's all for today. 
hope you like this video if you like this video you can like share and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification when i will upload a new video thank you for watching see you in the next video take care